Hello, thank you for attending another Spotlight Photographics webinar tutorial video. Today we'll be talking about ratio adjustments, and this is probably one of the biggest questions I've ever had uh, asked about our templates, is can they be resized? Can I use uh, one of your custom posters, which is in a 2 by 3 ratio, to print a 16 by 20? Or can I take one of the 4 foot by 6 foot banners and change that into a uh, 4 by 5 banner? Well, the answer is no not immediately but with just a couple of steps you can turn these templates into a template that will fit the ratios that you require uh, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you three different templates we're going to be using the panoramic we'll be using a custom poster and we'll also be doing a banner uh, to get started here we'll start on the banner and I am in Photoshop obviously right now and we're going to take our crop tool. Now, at this point, you'll notice when you do a Control Alt I on a PC, you will see that the image size is a 48 by 72 at 72 resolution. Now, it's at a lower resolution because these are for banners. Uh, this is the blast template uh, in the banners set, and they don't need to have as large of a resolution to be able to be printed on a large format printer. So these are going to be sized down, plus it keeps the file size down. If you were to have this at a 300 DPI, you're going to be looking at a lot bigger of a file size. So we need to keep those file sizes down. Plus, when you were to go to submit this, they're not going to want it that size. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that we want to make this a 4x5 banner instead of a 4x6. So we're going to come to our crop tool, and we will change our dimensions to a 4 by 5 and again we want to do this in inches everything is always in inches not by feet so we're going to be doing a 48 width so we'll type 48 and 5 is going to be 60 and we're going to leave the resolution blank this way it will use the same resolution that the poster or the banner was in originally. We're going to take our crop tool, we're going to start off of the poster, so in this gray area, and we'll click down, hold down, and drag. And that will keep it in the dimensions that you put up there. And we stop when we can't go any farther right, and we unclick. Now you'll notice that it's saying that everything down here right now is not going to stay in this poster. That's what it would look like if you were to crop the existing poster as the uh, 4 by 5. Obviously you're going to lose all of this fire down here. So at this point what we want to do is of course make sure your background is set as black over here on the palette. We're going to re-grab this bottom right corner and drag it farther until the whole poster is in top and bottom and unclick. So now the whole poster is inside this crop. Obviously we have a big empty space over here so we're just going to center this crop so it's evenly distributed on each side and we'll go ahead and apply. Now this is going to now have an empty spot here on the right and left and because everything is in layers we're able to move things around now and we'll start with the background layer. We can do a control A for control all and control T and we can drag this background layer over and now that filled that wall back up. The main fire we can drag and fill that up. I like grabbing everything individually because some things you may not want to expand. Um, you may not want to uh, stretch. You may want it to just grow. Um, for example, the fire here. I may want to just bring this in proportion. And with this fire, I'm just going to want to drag it over the sides. Same with this one. Now the floor, obviously we want to stretch that sideways. And I'm just going up every single piece and just filling this back up. And now we're just at the front fire and we'll drag this. And I'm going to, I don't want to stretch this sideways because as you can see as you stretch it it gets distorted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the shift key, hold down the alt key and then click and drag and you can see it does it in proportion towards the center and just drag it up 
and of course at this point too you can drag the name you can drag the last name as you can see the last name here has a texture and you can see that it's applied because it has this little drop down here that means it's using this texture and it's masking it onto the last name so if you were to just grab the last name layer and move it around you can see that that texture stays where it was and you don't want that you want it to go with it so we need to grab both of these and drag it over and that works with anything that has a mask onto it um, same with the uh, jersey number as you can see the jersey number has one of those so we'll grab that and the team name and we'll drag that over and then we can drag the player and drag and we'll make her a little bit bigger alright and just like that now we have a four foot by five foot banner template uh, what I would suggest at this point is saving this template as uh, a new template on your computer uh, and, and just entitle it what it is, a 3x5 blast template. Uh, now you have a 2x3 ratio for your 4 foot by 6 foot banners and you also now have a, a 3x5 uh, banner for when you need to do those extra sizes. And then when you bring your next players in you can just reuse that template over and over. Okay, so we'll go ahead and close this one down and let's move over to a custom poster now in this one as you can see your size is a 12 by 18 which is again a 2 by 3 ratio and it's a 250 so let's say that we wanted to do this as a 16 by 20 that's probably the biggest request I always have is I want to do custom posters as a 16 by 20 because a 20 by 30 it, it's hard to find a frame for uh, I've had a lot of different things uh, different reasons like that so let's say let's, let's make this one a 16 by 20 so again using the crop tool We'll come up here and we'll do 16 wide by 20 tall at the same resolution. That's there, so we leave that blank. Again, clicking off there, dragging to the right. As you can see, you would lose all this normally. Don't stop here. Grab again and bring it down. And now center this up. And now, as you can see, all we have to do is just move some things around grab the cheerleading name, let's bring that over. We'll grab the last name and we'll just expand it. And if we needed to, we could grab some elements in the background if we wanted to. But as you can see, that one actually was pretty easy. Um, you may have to grab a couple of these stars and maybe move them to fit more. But all you have to do is just fill things up. And now that one's ready. Uh, in fact, for this right here. You're ready to go. Save that as your 16 by 20 template, and you're ready to move on. Now, some again, some pieces may need to be moved, just like we did on the blast, um, but this template here was, was fairly simple um, because most of the elements did actually go off the page there. But for the most part, just move things around until you ha have what you like and save it as a new template. We'll move on to a panoramic. Now again, you look at this, and it's a 12 by 36. Now, if you're wondering, will this template fit the size that you're looking for, you can simply come in here and come to your image size and say, okay, if I were to change this to instead of being 12 inches high, what would it happen if I did 10? And you can see it automatically will change your width if you have the constrained proper proportions selected. If you don't have this selected, it's not going to automatically adjust the width when you adjust the height or vice versa. So you can see a 10 by 30 works. Let's say I only wanted to do a 5 height, now a 5 by 15. You can quickly see what the existing template would work if you knew one dimension that you wanted to fit it into. Uh, so <coughs> for this, let's say we wanted to make this a banner. Okay, We wanted to actually print this as a banner. Let's go in and say we want to make this as a 3 by 8 banner. So 3 feet is going to be 36 inches high, and 8 feet is 96 inches wide. Okay, And now at this point, we want to change this to the resolution of a banner. Remember what I said? Banners were 72 dpi, um, some places like 100 dpi. Uh, for this, let's go ahead and just put 100. Okay, And we'll just do again, start from the side, drag. And again, at this point, you can see we have something that's going to be lost. So we're going to continue to drag and then center up. Apply. 
We'll let it do its thinking. And now we're ready to move. Again, just like we had before, take items and move them around. You can take your lightning. Move those up. You can take this backbone and move it up. You can take this layer and move it down. And just move things to where you like them to be. And the more you move and fill it up, the nicer it starts looking. You can grab the lights layer back here, maybe expand it up a little bit. And there you go. You have a three foot by eight foot banner now. So at this point, you could just save this, send it to your lab printer. Um, just need to adjust this lightning over here just a little bit. There we go. And you're ready to go. So hopefully this answered some of your questions on how uh, you would do this. Uh, it is a very simple process um, to change these to the ratios. Obviously you can't just open a poster up, use the crop tool, and drag it and you're done. You do have to move some things around, but with just a you know very short amount of time you can adjust these templates to do what you need them to do uh, for the different sizes that you would like them to fit in. Again, don't drag everything at once. Don't grab the whole thing and just expand it out because you will get some distortion on some of the items that you may not want to look stretched. Um, a lot of people do that. They'll take the whole poster and grab the whole thing and stretch the whole thing at once. I don't suggest doing that. Move the pieces once you've made your canvas. Move them around to make it fit the way that you like it and you'll come out with a, a perfect product once again. So thank you again for coming by to see another Spotlight Photographics webinar tutorial video. Uh, you can see all of those products that we featured today on this video on our website at www.spotlightphotographics.com. If you'd like to email me, you can click on the Contact Us link on our website. And if you need to contact me by phone, I'm always available through Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at 904-398-4355. Thanks again for joining us, and until next time, we'll see you then.